In this video, we'll learn how to install the SMB as a virtual machine. The first thing we need to do is to go to SK168204 and make sure you have signed in. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Expand the CloudGuard Edge downloads. And here you can see that you can download the version as an OVF or as an ISO. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and download R80.10 and I'm going to go ahead and download the ISO. Press download. Once you've downloaded the ISO, now you can go ahead with your favorite virtualization software and create a new VM with the ISO we've just downloaded. In this case, I'm using VMware Workstation. So I'm going to go ahead and select next. Here, I'm going to browse to the ISO file. Here, I'm going to go ahead and select Linux and Red Hat Enterprise 5. Select next, give it a new name. I'm going to give it 100 gig just for demo purposes. Hit next and finish. Before you power on the virtual machine, we need to adjust the hardware settings. So I've added a little bit more RAM, added more CPU power, and I've added three network interfaces. For now, I've randomly assigned them to virtual networks and later on you'll see exactly why. Now I can go ahead and power on this virtual machine. Here I'm going to go ahead and select the VGA console, which is the default by the way. Now it's going to start the booting process. Now by default it's going to recognize that the hard drive is empty and it will begin the installation. So there's nothing I need to do. That's it. Installation is finished. It took less than a minute and now I just need to reboot. Now, you can unmount the ISO. In this case, I can just go ahead and select that I don't want to mount the ISO. I just want to go ahead to the hard drive. So it's going to check. Now it identified that I already have the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and select no. And it's going to boot to the hard drive with my SMB. Okay, so the installation is complete and I've managed to boot. And now I can access my SMB. The default username is admin. We still have the default password of admin as well. Now I can go ahead and run the first time wizard. But before I do that, I need to know what's my IP address, right? So to make it easier, since this is a virtual device, I cannot just go ahead and look at the right interface I'm using. We'll need to do something else. I'm going to go ahead and configure the expert mode. Okay, now I'm in expert mode. I'm going to run if config dash A. I want to see all interfaces and here's why. I'm going to scroll up. So I have three interfaces, DMZ, LAN 1 and 1. Thing is, I'm not sure which one is one, right? So I'm going to go ahead to the settings of my virtual machine. Move it to the left. And here's the thing, I have three interfaces, but I don't know which one is DMZ, which one is LAN 1, and which one is just the WAN interface. So, I'm going to select the first adapter, I'm going to go to Advanced, and see the MAC address. The MAC address is something 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 CE. In this case, CE is the last one, WAN. So in this case, this adapter needs to be connected to my physical network. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select the NAT network, which is my external network in this um, setup that I'm using. Okay, let's see what's the next one. Advanced D8. In this case, D8, that's the first one. That's my DMZ. So my DMZ network in this scenario, I'm going to use VMNet 3. And finally, I assume this one is my LAN adapter, but I'm going to make sure E2. And yes, it's E2. So in this setup, I'm going to connect it to my VMNet 1, which is the host only. And now I should be able to connect to that network of 192.168.1 and run the first time wizard. 
I hope this was informative and good luck.